helmet is a lot further along. I've positioned the VR920, the virtual reality headset, inside the visor of the helmet. Uh, also painted the, hel the uh, visor black so it blocks out the light from around the, uh, the headset here. So I, I, it, it, it helps uh, to keep the inside dark. Um, this has turned out really well. This has been a lot of fun. I'm uh, still working on uh, things like the stripe right here. This is just tape for right now. This will be replaced. Uh, the decals turned out real well. Uh, the uh, cooling vents in the top, in case it gets a little warm. And this is in, I have the reflector right here for the track IR. So this is all working right now. This, this, this works right now. Max may not look significantly different than it did before, but we're making incremental, we're making some small changes as we zero in on our ideal design for this flight simulator. And what I mean by that is we've, we're moving the seat back by a few inches and moving the rudder pedals back a couple of inches and, and changing the uh, length of the chains. We're making small changes uh, but have uh, we, we've uh, realized some uh, significant uh, improvements in the balance of the uh, simulator. So here's the point. The flight simulator has a certain balance with different people in the seat, but we don't want it to be like that. We want the same balance to be the same for everybody. So right now, the simulator has a certain balance with me in it, uh, about 145 pounds. <laughs> Maybe I should try eating more. Um, so the uh, the simulator has a certain. Uh, I want the weight. I want the balance for the simulator to be the same no matter who gets in. That's the key. So we're gonna pile in some more weight. So now, with me sitting on top of 75 pounds of weight, the simulator has virtually the same balance to it. It has the same center point. It has the, it's the same pitch attitude. All this is extremely important, and we were able to do it. We were able to make uh, these small changes uh, to, to get this big result. This is what we wanted all along. This is 220 pounds. I'm sitting on 75 pounds of weight right now. I got junk in my trunk. Woo! Since we moved the seat a few inches to the rear, we needed to do the same for the rudder paddles. We needed to move them closer. But I couldn't cut into this because of our, our spars right underneath it. This is structural. And the, this platform was way too close. This thing was narrow here. We couldn't get in and out of it very well. So I ended up having to make this cutout area here to make it easier to get in and out of the flight simulator. So we can still push the nose down a little bit and hop in and out. And actually, there's plenty of room there. I think that'll work out well. We also ended up pushing back the counterweight several inches 
and we had to include this 2x4 for uh, structural, which is fine. There's no problem with that. We had to do that anyway. This, this chain sweeps across the opening for our umbilical. We couldn't keep it there anymore. It would be uh, too harmful for the, the delicate cables here. So the umbilical is going to come out the back of the simulator. We just don't have that uh, finalized yet. We add some, some spacing up here in the pivot point on the uprights. Uh, this keeps the chain from rubbing uh, against the inside of the 2x4, which is not bad, but you can feel it as you're moving, uh, as you're rocking back and forth. It doesn't really do anything detrimental to the structure, but it's a little annoying, so we fix it.